February 25th, 2023 was Nigeria's presidential election. The goal of my project, however, was to predict the outcome of the election by using Twitter data to evaluate the sentiments of people based on their preferred candidates. I am Victor Odianosen. I have a background in customer service. I'm currently a data analyst versed in Power BI, Excel, and SQL, and I'm on my way to becoming a machine learning engineer. This uh, project is a sentiment analysis to weigh the negative, the positive, and the neutral opinions or emotions of Nigerians towards the election. The data was gathered from Twitter using SN Script, a tool that allows for extracting an unlimited amount of tweets and other information from Twitter based on specific criteria such as keywords, hashtags, and user accounts. For this particular project, the criteria used was hashtags. And a total of 20,000 tweets were gathered, 5,000 each for the four different parties I chose to analyze. The data reveals that 44.2% of people are on neutral ground regarding the election, while 42.6% are positive and 13.2% have negative opinions. Of the 42.6% positive sentiment score, Labour Party has the highest sentiment score. This is an example of sentiment analysis with emotions. Sentiment analysis has been used to analyze the tone and emotion of each text and classify them as positive, negative, and neutral opinions. Neutral texts or tweets typically provide information without expressing any emotions or judgments and are usually assigned a polarity score of zero. Polarity is a general term used to refer to sentiments or emotions. A tweet or text can be considered a positive opinion if it expresses a favorable or optimistic sentiment towards a particular topic. Positive opinions in a text could include positive words, praise, recommendations, satisfaction, and emojis such as heart eyes, smiley, thumbs up, etc. Negative sentiments are the opposite, as they express unfavorable or pessimistic sentiments towards a particular topic. Negative words, criticism, dissatisfaction, recommendation against, and emojis such as sad face, angry face, thumbs down, etc., are indications of negative sentiment. This visualization depicts the total sentiment score by party and the total sentiment counts. This visualization suggests that LP has a high name recognition and is a major player in the upcoming election. These are the processes required in NLP. NLP as a necessary tool for sentiment analysis in machine learning. For this analysis of projects, VEDA, which is Valence Aware Dictionary and Sentiment Reasoner, was used to simplify the NLP data processes for this sentiment analysis so that we do not have to manually go through the entire NLP process as depicted here. Unlike other sentiment analysis tools that require a pre-labeled data set for training, VEDA uses a pre-built lexicon that contains thousands of words and phrases with known valence that classify text into positive, negative, and neutral opinion. This method does not require any training data as it can understand sentiments of a score containing emoticons, slangs, conjunctions, capital words, punctuations, and more. Beta can also process text data quickly and efficiently without the need for extensive pre-processing and works excellently on any form of text. What I've learned so far, I've learned to build a streamlit app and to deploy my app both on Streamlit and Heroku. I have come to learn to use GitHub. I've come to learn how to work with Veda machine learning model. I understand how to use SN script to script Twitter and avoid the limitations of Twitter API. I understand the steps involved in creating a sentiment analysis. I've also learned to define a project and give details to my projects, such as I'm doing now. I've come to understand that the goal of machine learning is to create models that work and are reusable. I understand NLP data preprocessing steps 
and how VEDA and RUBETA are pre-trained models that simplify the manual processing. Here's a video to show what my project looks like on Streamlit. Although uh, I created two pages, it shows perfectly well on local host, but does not display this way on when deployed. So this is what it looks like on local host. And so it works. And this is what it looks like when hosted. And so I deployed the both pages separately. These are links to my projects and my GitHub and my LinkedIn. Thank you very much.